Hello, Next Community and Dr. Tansy. I wanted to show you a uh, production partner here. I'm running uh, Next Step 3.3 in emulation on a Mac Mini. And so Production Partner is an app that allows you to record sound. So I'm demonstrating it for Dr. Tansy. Uh, he has a little application he developed called BrainScan. And so using it with this app, uh, he should be able to record playback sounds and then determine how it's affected um, with uh, the brainwave frequencies, which is pretty neat stuff. So uh, here we've launched the application and you have two panels, okay, Dr. Tansy? And so this panel here is your main panel. Now, if you want to record a sound, you're going to click this button right here. And then let's see if I can bring that uh, mouse cursor here. I'm trying to, to hold the camera and do this demo. So, if we click that, and then it's, previous is going to say yes. We're going to let it use the microphone, which is pretty cool. Now, you'll see over here how it's orange. And what that means on that second panel is it's paused. So that can be a little bit confusing. You can see the meter's going, so it is actually uh, hearing my voice. So when we click the unpause, that means it's starting to record. And you'll see the time down here. So we're going to record something. Test, 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 test. Hello, test, test, test. And then we can stop. Okay. So now that sound has been recorded, and it's stored up here. And it currently has no title. So to play it back, we're just going to double click that. That means it's starting to record, and you'll see the time down here. So we're going to record something test, 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 test. Hello, test, test, test. And then. So that's great, that works. So there's a couple other features. One of them is right here. So if we want to see the. the uh, frequency signature of what we just recorded we just click on that and it's going to launch the signature profile down here which is allows you to do all different things you can speed it up slow it down and uh, you can also cut and paste so if you want to cut and paste you just put the mouse cursor in here and you highlight a section okay and then you want to copy it okay So we're going to go up into the corner on the menu and click uh, edit and then copy and then to paste it you just click paste up there and it'll paste it. So now you'll see that it's added it there when we play it back and there should be a, a you just go to the play button up here. See the time down here? So we're going to record something, test, 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 hello, test, 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 and then... Okay, so to go back to the beginning, we just click it back here, and you put your mouse in there to start it wherever you want, and you can click either play over here, or play over here. and it should start playing. In a perfect world, it would start playing. So I'm going to click stop over here. <laughs> I'm going to click uh, down here. I'm going to click play. Okay, so we've stopped for some reason. We're not paused. Oh my goodness. All right. So we'll click play. That means it's starting to record. That means it's starting to record. That means it's starting to record. And you'll see the time down here. So it must be where you click it in within line there. I'm going to try it one more time. Hello, test, test, test. And then... So we go back to here. We're going to try that one more time for you guys. Wouldn't be a live demo like Steve Jobs said unless something went wrong. So 
click at the beginning of your signature and then click play up here and it should work just fine so you can see that our cut and paste did work and so the sound is now recorded and so uh, to save that sound you go up here you click in it and I believe you should be able to rename it fairly easily there's also different sampling rates over here so you can record at different sampling rates just by using these radio buttons initially and then you've got your choice of microphone here um, as well so this microphone button allows you to choose either DSP or microphone and then it shows you you know it's if you wanted CD quality you could do mono or stereo and a bunch of different features so if we go up to the info there's a help section okay so you can open the help section and there's a tutorial step-by-step -step on how to do everything so this is just kind of a an overview dr tansy you know i'll talk you through on the phone and i'm obviously learning uh the software myself here as we go so with dsp now there's some other neat features too that i've discovered um, so you can save the sounds into different folders and subfolders so you, you would do that by going back to your playlist up in your menu and you've got export list so you can export it to other applications um, let's see we've got sounds and you can do actualize everything I believe is what that does and there's also you'll see a little padlock here and that padlock when you click that it opens it which means that you can I believe that's what it requires to save the sound so we could do a rename now I believe so we'll do a save first and then um, I think it's as simple as clicking in this up here that means it's starting to record and you'll see the time down here so we're going to record something test 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 hello test 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 and then so bear with me I'm, I'm learning to here tools inspector Okay, that gives us that shows your rate whether it was recorded in 8-bit or uh, 44.1 and here we go sound comment so you can actually comment on the sounds down here so it's got our untitled sound and you, you know whatever we're gonna name it author the sounds and comments which is pretty cool uh, back to tools there's playlist comment so you can record the sounds and then put them in playlists and then what's really neat is you can have say band backup so you can have your sound and then overlay other uh, features other sounds with it so I believe it's independent tracks as I say I'm just getting into this app too it's pretty phenomenal what it can do so you can bring in a bunch of different sounds and then uh, uh, bring them together to create you know basically a music with a band very advanced for its time we were talking about 1988 so very cool stuff and that's just kind of the the precursory overview um, as far as saving the name of the sound uh, I did this before I thought I was just clicking in there I will uh, research that and figure it out but that's uh, just a start I'm going to upload this to YouTube. Thanks.
Sorry, it's a little rough. I'll do a better one later on. I just wanted to make one to get started. <laughs>